Hi, it's Alex Popovich again, and today I will be talking about Zoom software, which I believe is amazing video conferencing and meeting software for health professionals. So you go to the zoom.us and uh, you can um, uh, connect your account. It's very easy and there is a free account and paid account. For most things, you can actually have a free account. When you um, join up, you will uh, get your profile meetings and most importantly, your uh, personal meeting ID number. Um, you don't have to remember this uh, and this meeting ID number is your unique number. You can set a meeting either as a one-off event where the meeting generates a random number or as a, a usual number or forever number which is this your personal meeting ID. And what happens is at Zoom is your basically a virtual meeting room. So when you book a meeting, you've booked a meeting room. You don't have to do anything else. You just have to tell that to someone else. The easiest one is that you link your Zoom account to your Google Calendar if you have that. And when you do, you can get this Zoom meeting automatically or it's up here as a part of your uh, Google Suite. But even with the free Google accounts, you can do this. So what you can do is just say, uh, meeting with Alex and uh, um, what time is, is it going to be? It's going to be from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. or let's say 3.30. And, um, and this is your Zoom ID um, meeting number. And you can invite someone else as well. Um, so you can add your guests, for example. And you, um, you can repeat it. This is very important if you do weekly, for example, or every two weeks meeting and always the same people have been invited to that meeting. Um, and it's best way to do this because they will always have this um, number, the, um, the meeting will appear in their calendar and it's much easier way to do this. So you, what you can do is just that save and uh, send the invites. I would recommend that you download the Zoom app to use on your iPhone, iPad or computer. It is much better than using Zoom through web browser. So we've come into the app and here is this meeting and, uh, and number. If you want to uh, make a new meeting, um, you can just push click here and uh, let's say from 3.30 to 4 o'clock. This is either generate automatically and you can click that they don't require a meeting password. Um, here is where you can put that a host video is automatically on and participants one is off. And you just use telephone and computer audio. If you need something else, like telephone, click that. But at the moment, most people are just using it through computer audio. And you can um, do it in a Google Calendar and uh, uh, you can schedule it. And it will open automatically your um, uh, Google stuff and that again, you can do that uh, where you add the guests. This is what the guests will get, this join Zoom meeting. So you can do it either way. It's very easy to do. Um, I don't know why it's picking up that I'm in France, but there we go. Um, if um, you want to just add it into another calendar software, for example, I use Fantastical. What I will have to do is 
just add the URL of the meeting, so copy and paste the URL, and I've um, and I add the event. So if I go now to my email provider, um, I would have been sent a meeting link. So what you do is you have this meeting link here, and you just click on that meeting, and it would automatically launch it. Um, it would ask you always to open it with Zoom app. In this area here, you can mute the audio. I would always recommend that. So always mute the audio. If you want to talk, just unmute it. There are shortcuts, but this is the easiest way on the video to do. If you don't want to see your video, stop it. You can also on the spot invite people as well. So you can just add um, their email address uh, and email them or contact them. If um, you're a host, you can manage it. So you can, you can mute or unmute all of the participants within the meeting. At the moment, I just have myself as a meeting participant. Uh, and you can also share your screen. So if I want to share my screen, I can just share either my desktop. If I'm using a whiteboard, uh, you can use um, iPhone or iPad, or you can use other open browsers that you have. And you just click on a share button. If you want to stop sharing, just stop sharing it here. or pause it. Now you can also resume it again if you need to. You can chat to people by pushing this icon here. Chat uh, either to everyone or you can actually choose um, who you can chat to. This is when you have more people at the moment I don't but you can send message to a certain person or to everyone. And you can automatically record it or you don't have to. And here is when you end um, the meeting. Up here is uh, where um, you can put it up to the full screen or exit. The other thing I forgot to say was that when um, you share things, you can also share files. So you can upload the files from Dropbox or connect to that or Google Drive as well. Uh, the easiest way to be honest to share files is if you come here and send a file document uh, to everyone through here. So that's the easiest way to share the file. Uh, the other option sometimes um, is that you can click this multiple participants can share simultaneously and that may be a good thing if you have for example MDM where you can have two participants uh, sharing the screen. One is a pathologist and the other one is radiologist. Here is how you can share um, several screens. So here in a view options, what you can see is which screen you're going to share from two different people. And you can click in between to see them. If you are in a video conference meeting with many people, you can push the button raise hand and that way the presenter can see you and you can ask your question then and there. It's such an easier way for presenter to see that. Uh, if you have uh, uh, to answer uh, on a question that has been posed with a yes or no, you can push those buttons as well. You can go slightly slower or faster or you can have more options to rate the presenter. Um, here are your preferences about how you can deal with uh, um, your um, speakers and everything else or your rooms. So you can use more than one monitor. You can click there. Uh, you can always automatically end the full screen. And there is quite a lot of different um, settings that you can do. And these are the typical ones about your video. So which 
camera you're going to use, are you going to do HD and etc. And most importantly is that whether or not you're going to use your computer microphone or your, for example, I have an external microphone so I can use that. Who allows the chat? Uh, so you can uh, do the chat preferences. And here are different virtual backgrounds. So if you don't want to see your room or depending where you are, you can choose, for example, this one. And I'll be looking in front of a great um, a picture or you can use a, a different one where you just add a virtual background image. Here are the recording options and where you're going to put them in and the advanced one will be up on the um, uh, website. So if you click to here, it takes you to the Zoom website where you can do fine tuning of um, the meeting stuff. So the equipment I would recommend that you do or to use, um, one, um, that you have a good microphone. That's very important, uh, especially if you're hosting the meeting. In that situation, what I would recommend is that you have external mic like my Yeti one or something else. But for just the normal communication, you don't really need to. Um, majority of computers have pretty good microphones at the moment. But the most important thing is that you mute it and don't forget to unmute it uh, when you want to speak. The reason why I recommend muting the microphone is that the person who's talking hears themselves coming from your phone and there is this continuous echo. So when there's a lot of people uh, at the meeting, there's a quite a lot of echo and it's very difficult to deal with. Um, video use if you want to and if you don't want to, don't use. But as I said, mute and unmute yourself. It's the best um, idea for these things. And the other option um, for as a part of the equipment is that you use headphones. It's much easier to hear. Uh, what's going on at the meeting by using the headphones and you can use any headphones for example I love my Bose ones so I tend to use the, those you can um, use any of the Bluetooth one or connected one as well um, be careful whether the microphone it's picking up from your headphones or from the computer so just double check it or test it prior to starting and uh, the other thing about the equipment is please do not uh, um, have a light behind you because if you do put light behind you, we cannot see you uh, if you're going to use the video. So if you um, have any questions or you'd like to know more about Zoom, please uh, uh, contact me below and send a comment and I will do that. If you've liked these videos and you would like to um, continue receiving them, please push subscribe button down below.